you are a focused, powerful force of nature, aren't you? Uh, hello everyone, I'm Alex Rushdie and I'm here to give my presentation about what is Gamera, a scientific analysis. First, a little bit about myself. I, uh, I make video games at 13M Games. Uh, I also make toys at Seismic Toys. Uh, but most importantly, and probably my most meaningful contribution to society is that I have made it my goal to collect every copy of Godzilla 1998 on VHS. And uh, that makes me qualified to talk about this right now. So first off, if you don't know what Gamera is, what is Gamera? Well, Gamera is a giant monster or kaiju from a series of films, Japanese films, uh, that uh, have come out ever since 1965. In fact, there was, a, there was an anime that just came out this year, so Gamera is still kicking. And Gamera is essentially a gigantic, tusked, flying, and fire-breathing monster with a large shell and other, uh, well, let's say turtle-like features. Now, I use the word turtle-like but if you look up Gamera, if you talk to anyone, your friends, your family, your mom, dad, your brother, sister, about Gamera, they'll probably say, oh, he's a giant turtle. He's that big turtle monster, or Gamera's a turtle. And I wouldn't blame them for saying that. There's a lot of misinformation and fake news spread about this. But as you see, I'm about to take this down piece by piece and explain that that is really not the case. So let's, let's take a look at uh, what, you know, turtle truthers try to say about Gamera. So looking at Gamera here, we can say that he's got a rounded, heavyweight shell. He's got feet and hands. He's got claws. He lives primarily on land and in the air, though he sleeps in the sea. Uh, he eats fire. He's found primarily in Asia, Japan, usually. He lives for eons. He's thousands of years old, and he is the friend of all children. Now, let's look at turtles here. So turtles have lightweight, flat shells. Okay, uh, they've got flippers or webbed appendages, not feet and hands, not claws. Uh, they live in water, pretty different to Gamera. They're omnivores, okay. They're found primarily in Africa and America, and they live for 20 to 40 years. Now, if you look at this, I'm, I'm seeing only differences. And if we actually bring in a third character, the tortoise, things start to make a lot of sense. Tortoises have rounded, heavyweight shells. They've got feet and hands with claws. They primarily live on land, but they can enter bodies of water like Gamera. They eat vegetables. Fire is vegan. They're found primarily in Asia and Africa. And they live for 80 to 150 years, much more than the paltry 20 to 40 that a turtle lives. So it's pretty clear that Gamera is a tortoise and not a turtle. And that last one, friend of all children that we mentioned, that's really important. And as we know, turtles fucking hate kids. Now, another piece of important evidence comes from Shusuke Kaneko, who is the director of the 1990s Gamera trilogy. And he stated that there are actually no turtles in the universe of that trilogy. And as such, no one recognizes Gamera as one, only calling him a monster. Furthermore, in Gamera 3... The films make a connection between Gamera and East Asian mythology, suggesting that he is a black tortoise, one of the four guardian spirits held to protect the city of Kyoto. But the real smoking gun is in 2006's Gamera the Brave, where to play the role of young Gamera, Kadokawa used 13 live African spurred tortoises to portray the character. Now, I don't want to hear any more of those complaints about, oh, this is tortoise washing or whatever. This was a tortoise playing a tortoise role. This is not a turtle character. Now, before you come in, because I, I can hear people already screaming at the stream, I understand the fact that all tortoises are, in fact, turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises, and they're part of the same family. But there's a clear delineation between them. And when using normal English... It's important to make that delineation. But even if you were to try to make this bad faith argument that I hear all the time when I talk about this, the truth is, if you read Gamera Full Record, 
Giant Monster Aerial Battle, the movie that accompanied the 1995 release of Gamera Guardian of the Universe, you would know that there's a manga inside called Gamera Legend that shows without a doubt Gamera was constructed by the Atlanteans to defend their society from the Gauss that they also created. Meaning that Gamera is actually technically neither turtle nor tortoise because he's a construct, okay, created by humans. And that explains why he can fire jets out of his body and fly. So in conclusion, Gamera is a tortoise. And if he's not a tortoise, then he's certainly not a turtle. So thank you. Have a good night.